Hey, Sally, welcome to the yoga cocktail party. How are you doing? Hey, let me introduce you to this real cool guy over here. His name is Albert. Albert, this is my friend Sally. Sally, this is Albert. Sally, I got to tell you about Albert's heritage. Well, his great, great, great grandmother. Okay, you know Albert's mom and my mom were in a knitting club in Appleton, Wisconsin. No, that's that's not right, is it, Albert? They, it was Ashley Bill Howe. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, Albert's great great grandfather, his first wife was married to Abraham Lincoln's maid. Wow, that really didn't make sense, does it, Albert? The wife is married to the maid. Oh well, anyways, if you have any questions at all about how to fix a bed, go ahead and ask Albert. I'm sure he'd know. I'm sure we have all remember introductions like that from when our mom or dad would introduce us to somebody at a party and we're like, I just want to blow my brains out. So these kind of introductions happen all the time. Let's just take computers. Who's the father of computer? It's this guy, Charles Babbage. Had he not had the initiative to create the computer, then maybe Steve Jobs wouldn't be bringing us the iPad, the iPod, the iPhone, all the eyes, or maybe Bill Gates wouldn't have created Microsoft. Thanks, Charles Babbage. How about rock and roll? Rock and roll, coming from World War II. Had Chuck Berry not went out there and introduced us to rock and roll, a catchy, crazy, different thing, then maybe Pretty Boy, Elvis, and he was beautiful. Maybe Elvis wouldn't have introduced us to the world of rock that we know today. How about baseball? Who's the father of baseball? Bet you don't know this. Abner Doubleday. Abner Doubleday created baseball. And had he not created baseball, then what would, what would number two, Derek Jeter, what would he have been doing last year when he was hitting 3,000 hits? I wonder what he would have been doing. Interesting, kind of, huh? How these fathers influence us. So who's the father of modern yoga? Who's the guy that brought it out of the caves to the normal people? His name is Christian Macharya. And he had a profound influence on yoga in the modern world. He had four disciples that studied under him. And one, I'm not quite sure of his lineage to him, but I'm sure it, he was somehow influenced by him. And Krishna was 99 years old when he died. That's amazing, isn't it? One of his students, Patabi Joyce, he is the creator of Ashtanga Yoga. And Power Yoga has a big, big, big influence from him. The other guy was Iyengar, and he's a alignment. He's a, a really into like the Hatha kind of yoga. This lady, yeah, he had one lady back in 1888. He brought a lady into yoga. That was kind of unheard of. And she was the guru to the stars. And this, of course, is Bikram. And Bikram wasn't a direct student. But he somehow had a connection that I really couldn't find. So yeah, 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 that's a cousin Albert story, right? So power yoga. There's many, many different kinds of yoga out there. And power yoga is the yoga we're going to kind of focus on in this party. A power yoga vinyasa. Burl Bender Birch is a power yoga person. Brian Kest out from California is power yoga. And um, what I love about Brian is his realness. He's not going to confuse you with a bunch of Sanskrit. He's going to say fold, stand, set your butt down. It's awesome to be in one of his classes. Johnny Kest is his brother. And Johnny's out in the Midwest in Michigan. And you get that same realness from him. And he also teaches a couple of different kinds of power yoga classes that um, are unique to him. Slow burn flow. Um, still all power. 
And then there is Baron Baptiste. So when you hear the word power vinyasa yoga, you're probably going to hear a Kest name or you're going to hear a Baptiste name or um, the teacher studied with one of these guys. And, and Baron Baptiste created a series of poses that follow one after another and they really open your body up in a way that just feels amazingly great. So that's the kind of the yoga we're really going to focus on here because it's what, what I teach. This is Tammy Snyder who is my teacher and she owns one of the largest studios in Ohio. I think it probably is the largest studio in Ohio. These are my teachers right now, Live, Love, Teach. It's a 500-hour school where, boy, they have it down, Pat, on come from love and not fear. You're there for your students. You're not there for yourself. You're not a yoga rock star teacher. You're there to see your students, to be with your students, and make sure they have a transformational experience. This is my daughter. She's 12, and she is also... Um, nickname Weagle and in the videos and she's going to be a 500 hour cert teacher which is probably the first one in America to have that at that age. So cool story. Come join the yoga cocktail party. I promise you that's probably the longest introduction you're going to have. The rest is going to